thing about whitewater kayaking is it's very humbling. Um, you know that the river's in charge. It doesn't matter how long you do it or how good you get at it. The river's always in charge. And, and I guess one time I was really reminded of this um, was when I pretty much had my worst swim that I ever had in my life. I was on a river in Washington called the Cowlitz, Clear Fork of the Cowlitz, and I go over this drop that I was sent into by a friend who was sitting on the bank, and I was there with five or six other guys, and I went first. Got pummeled in this pocket the whole nine yards, ended up having to come out of my boat. I went deep when I came out of my boat, everything got dark, and then I came back up and I was breathing, but it was still dark. And what had actually happened was I had resurfaced in a cave behind the drop. So for 15 minutes I sat in the cave and I couldn't figure out what I was gonna do. I was yelling and screaming, but no one could hear me. I was locked in a dark cave behind the falls. So after a bit of time, I started to get really cold because I couldn't get out of the water. I was sitting in, in this 40 degree water for, for a bit of time and I had the gear, but you still get cold. So eventually I had to just jump in and just huck for it and just swim for it. So I get up the gumption, take a big breath, jump back in the darkness of the river and I go down. As soon as I come back up to the surface and I see light, um, one of my best buddies was right there. Uh, whereas the other group had already started down river to go get help. Well, right below this was another series of rapid, and if my buddy Nate had not been sitting there with the rope and tagged me as soon as I came to the surface, I probably wouldn't be here today.